Alright, welcome back everyone. This is Shadow Drake, and as you've noticed, I've changed this up a little bit. So, previously, we did the branching instructions as far as comparisons go. Uh, now we're going to do the set register instructions. Um, and the, the reason being is, both of, both of these two tend to be about the, about the same. Um, you're either going to start doing comparisons and branch to different functions, or you're going to be setting registers to turn on inputs, or, uh, not inputs, to turn on devices or set stuff. And they each have their own benefits and drawbacks, and I'll go over that in the next part. So the set registers, just like the branch instructions, they have a code. And unfortunately, it begins with S. So when you first start typing out with S, don't let it fool you, because that is the normal instruction for set, for setting a register. But you can fill it out with your comparison codes. So for example, putting GT means now you're setting a register if A is greater than B. And you'll see your syntax. Or, you know, for example, GE. Now you're setting a register if A is greater than or equal to B. And so as you can see, it's very similar to the branch instructions, except that you're not jumping around in the code. You are setting a specific register to a one if it's if what your if your arguments satisfy the conditions. Uh, so for example, if I have SGE R0. So it's going to set register 0, and let's just put something like, I don't know, 3 and 4. So what's going to happen is it's going to check A, which is 3, versus B, which is 4. And it's going to be, if A is greater than or equal to B, R0 will be written a, a 1. <clears throat> Otherwise, it will be written as a 0. So there's... So this is kind of how you can turn on a bit or set something to one or zero for like on off purposes or some other function of your code, like the select instruction, which we'll get into next video. And this is different from branching because you could be using this to directly turn on a device or off. And just like the branch instruction, you can add the zero, the Z, at the end of it, and it instead compares your number to zero. Now, the all does not apply to the set register function, and that is because you're not branching anywhere. The, the all, the AL at the end, stores your current line to the RA register because you're jumping to a different spot. Ideal, hopefully with the intention that you're jumping right back and resuming from there. So, like I said, this little table will be helpful uh, because that will help you to either make a branch or set register instruction. So now that we've gone over that, I modified our test bench. Our grow light is now on the floor and I put a dial in its place. And I redid the pins so that we're controlling this LED light and the lever will be the on off and the dial will be for our set instruction so that we can see how it does but what we're going to do is not this one it's easier to read what we're going to do is actually make a little code to change the color of the LED so that we can see the different states of it. So let's see. Uh, D0 is now my LED. D1 is still my lever, and D2 is my dial. Let's fix this. We're not going to need this. Honestly, I should just clear it. Let You know what? Clear it. Alias, LED, D0. Alias, lever, D1. Alias, dial, D2. I don't think I will need constants just yet, but we'll find out. J main. And let me just put yield here. Let's put yield at the beginning. So, to start off, let's alias uh, on state, and that'll be R15. 
we're going to load on state from our lever setting. And now what I like to do is I tend to put all my sets or all of my write instructions in the end state. So we're going to set LED uh, on based on on state. So this should be fairly simple. If my lever's on, my LED turns off. If it's not, it's not. So now we kind of get to the set instructions. So what I am going to do is change the color of this LED. Actually, let's just do something real quick. Let's just change the color of the LED based on the on the dial. So let's see, S LED color and uh, dial count 14. So let's load uh, dial count from dial, whoops, dial, and that should be setting. So I believe it only goes up to nine, but let's make sure. We'll export this, turn this on. All right, so zero is blue. I believe that's white. Green, orange, red, yellow, white, black, brown, yellow, pink, magenta? I don't know. There might be more, I'm not sure. You know what? LED. Oh, okay. Lights. So we're going to go to the wall lot from the light kits. We want LED. We want color. It's something I completely forgot. When you're looking at the devices, you can actually click on these to get a little bit more information. As you can see, it can actually go up to purple. So I'll increase that by one. There we go. Purple. So now I digress. So, right now the light is on, now it's off. So now let's do use some set instructions to comparison. So we're not going to base the on state on the lever. What we're going to do is base the on state based on the letter, lever setting. So let's just pick something. So remember, S, let's do GT, on, on state dial counts. And let's just pick an arbitrary number. Let's pick five. So what we what we are hoping to see is that the LED turns on when the dial is greater than five. So let's set that. And as you can see, it turns on. So now let's decrease this dial down. We're going to see the colors changing. And as soon as we get to five, it should turn off. And you heard the click for off. You see, I can left click to try to turn it on, and it's immediately shut off. And so this, this will at least help you to see how these comparisons go. Well, let's let's change this a bit. What if I use SLT? So what that means is now, if it's less than five, it should turn on. So let's export it. And you see, it turned off. See, it's still off. Oh, now it turns on now that it's greater. Uh, now that dial is less than 5. And as you can see, the instruction uh, compares your value, and you can cause some form of action to occur. Uh, let's see. see. What's another one? SQ, SEQ. So if it's equal to 5, it should turn on. If it's not equal to 5, it'll go off. Now let's add the Z parameter, SEQC. So we no longer need this 5 here. So so long as it's equal to 0, it will turn on. You can see, once it gets to 0, it'll equal, it'll turn on. And so hopefully this is... Hopefully this can show you 
how to use the set register functions. Now obviously it doesn't have to be a dial. You could be looking at pressure for example. Like say you have a back pressure regulator that you don't want to turn on unless the pressure in a pipe network gets above 40 megapascals. And so you could have a logic that's just constantly reading the pressure of your pipe network. Uh, and in this case, do an SGT or an SGE, whatever, whether you care about whether it turns on at 40 megapascals or higher. And once that state happens, you just turn on your back pressure regulator to get rid of some of that pressure. And so this is probably the easier and the cleaner way to turn on devices based on a comparison. But now, this is for probably a single action. If you're going to need to do multiple things, I would recommend using a branch instruction so that you perform an extra little function for that. All right. So this covers that. Uh, next time as part of this, I am going to go over making a program with both branching and the set register instructions as well as the select function. All right. Hope to see you then.